And welcome back to the BOGO Dojo. You seem so dejected, Joe. I am very dejected. Probably because you've been doing this level for, what, four videos now? Five videos now? I have lost count. So, you know, we, if you remember previous videos, uh, we did a little montage of me trying to complete a level. Uh, we decided we're going to do the same thing with this. But the montage isn't going to be necessary because you're going to beat this level right now, Joe. That's right. No montage needed. Yes. <laughs> no montage needed whatsoever. Not not at all. Never. <laughs> There's no I'm, reason for it. I'm kind of just waiting for me to be like, montage necessary. <laughs> <laughs> no montage. Nope. No montage. Because we're speaking this into existence. Mm -hmm. Name it, claim it. That was that was that was close. Sorry, montage what? That was close. Montage what? You almost didn't make that one. You montage didn't, you yes. Didn't, you didn't make that one. <laughs> so it's worth it to just kind of slow down Live on edge. and make ah. sure that you can make the jumps that you're supposed to. Nice and easy. That was not nice and easy. <laughs> But that's not the, the the that's not how you say Thailand and Thai, so it's how we you say Thailand. You shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have gone. You shouldn't have gone. You shouldn't have gone. Not oh. You could. You could. <laughs> you My this. nose itches. <laughs> <laughs> mm, uh, okay, I'll itch it. <laughs> get a good itch in. Yeah, it's good. You want me to scratch it next time? Sure. Just tell me when. I'll, I'll give it a good scratch. This is a little early. When? Scratch, scratch, scratch. It's okay. It's oh, okay. Whoa, better, whoa. better to be safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Whoa, That's two. Whoa, whoa, That's whoa, two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do we need to bust out some calming remedies here? Get some incense or something? Essential oils? Yeah. A diffuser? I think so. Okay. Well, it's gonna be on your credit card. <laughs> I thought you would treat me. <laughs> no. I thought you'd help, help me out in my time of need. I'm here, present, but I ain't buying you stuff. Wow. You buy your own stuff. Let's see the kind of friend you are. Uh, yeah. What kind of friend am I? Uh, a poor one. There you go. <laughs> buy your own crap. <laughs> hey, buddy, you need some essential oils. Buy it yourself. <laughs> I I ain't selling it for you. So you look like you need some help. Well, too bad. I mean, some of that, you know, you got to recognize your own limitations. And some of that is recognizing that when somebody needs help, you are not the one that can properly provide it. That's true. That's true, Danny. Yeah. That's true. So I while I am physically present. Can you help me with that? Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Okay. Nice. And easy. Nice. And it's easy. close to mid. Not the corner. Right. Not the corner. Do, 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 Don't do, stay do, in the corner. Do. Stay on the other end. There you you hear the scream. And someday we can snuggle close together. There you go. Two. Da, 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 da. There you go. There you go. Watch fire. Watch fire. Got it. Oh, yes. It's Thriller. Thriller night. Thank you, Michael Jackson, for making music that helps me focus. Oh, Thriller. <laughs> Thriller night. Sure, we'll we'll go with that. Good job, Michael Jackson. <laughs> that was entirely not necessary. Let's never do that one again. Wow, that, huh? Just oh. cleaning the castle up. Okay. <laughs> I not even gonna question that. No, just let it let it be a thing, man. Yep. All right. So that clears up Chocolate Island. I, I still have one more exit to do through Chocolate Island. Or two exits, actually. Um, and then you you'll get right into the Valley of Bowser. But I know I need to do this and get the regular exit. 
so that it's the loop. So, all right, Joe. So how are you feeling? I am feeling relieved. Relieved? Mm-hmm. I am just sitting here and rejoicing in my victory and thinking about how I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, we just got to hold it in for like five to eight minutes. But, uh, I gotta go. Oh, you don't make me turn this thing around. Oh, Dad. I want McDonald's. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah. Daddy almost killed himself. Oh, uh, just a little bit. <laughs> Good thing I... Recognize that I needed to get down first. That's the first step to overcoming a problem. Yeah. But I'm just gonna skip a lot of this. I think I'm running out. Though. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I see it. That's okay. Well. And well. That stinks. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> I never. Uh, and I don't know what happened to Yoshi, man. He just. He just kind of. It was like oh, I'm just gonna walk away now. Uh, that was weird. I didn't... <laughs> uh huh. So. Okay. So you want to talk? Blow? Want to talk? What? What's the mind blow? The mind blow. I learned about this in a video. This is actually one of the ships from the Koopalines in Super Mario Brothers Three. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the the, the gimmick. Yeah, it is it's supposed to tie it in to make it an airship and everything like that. That's crazy. You want to talk about the bet we had? Oh yeah, yeah, that bet. So we we had brought it up before. Of uh, we had um, Joe and I had a bet specifically about the sunken ghost ship and the. The idea was that in uh, Joe thought that there was a way to finish the game in the sunken ghost ship. Like there was a way to fight Bowser. Um, I don't know how he got to that conclusion. You want me to explain it? Yes, I, I do. Because from what I do remember from my childhood, there was a point in the map where a Bowser head pops up out of the water. Okay. I thought that was the sunken ghost ship, and I thought that was the hidden Bowser. Like oh, it was like a hidden you fight Bowser right there at the end. Nope. But I mixed it all together because the hidden head that pops up is just another way to get to Bowser's castle. Correct. At the very end. Well, to the to the Valley of Bowser specifically, like it gets you into the world. Oh right, yeah. So you still have other levels to complete. Right. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a part of the map. So, <laughs> because I think what screwed me up <clears throat> is I just remember from my childhood really getting to Bowser's castle via Star Road. Yeah. Everybody so did. in my mind, I thought that was like a special. No. When in actuality, that's the normal route. Correct. So for this bet, I got a chicken biscuit. He got a chicken biscuit. As is our normal bet. We tend to bet with chicken biscuits. Yeah. Bojangles biscuits specifically, although I think we could probably figure out a way to incorporate other chicken biscuits as well. Yeah, like Chick-fil-A chicken biscuits. Yeah. Or uh, or any of the local eateries. Eateries? Yeah. So this one, you definitely would be advantage of like when it fades out. Go. No, uh, no, 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 no. When it fades out, just don't go forward anymore and then move while while you see the ghosts. Oh, I'm doing the opposite. Yeah, I'd recommend the other way. Cause they switch. Yeah. So I can't wait. Well, the thing is, is it, they switch, but they may switch into the pathway that you're swimming, and then you can't. You're already your momentum is already moving you one way. Yeah, but when they reappear, they might reappear right where I'm waiting. They almost always reappear where you're waiting. Almost. No, like right on top of me. I, I understand. Okay, it's gone now. You're good. Ah. So you just gotta do <clears throat> deal with boo rings and normal boos. Stupid boos. Notice those are spikes. Stupid. 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 I don't know why. I swam too high. I noticed. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was that was my. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't matter how hard you try. 
Uh, I was confused as to why you swam that. Let's high. do this. So try, try and get get enemies, man. I'm trying. And a mushroom. I don't think you get another star. So, oh, that might have been one down there, right there. Okay, yep. Now just oh, watch boy. for the water. Well, you're gonna get hit. No, oh, thanks for that. <laughs> I kind of figured you'd figure out that the thing is kind of aiming towards you. Well, duh. So. How did I know I was gonna hit the water? <laughs> no. I, I didn't know how to help you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, that car's coming. Bam! Thanks, Danny. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, you know when you're on the road in, like, heavy traffic? Yeah, there's a car that's going to like come. The car is already heading full speed, 60 miles per hour, right about to hit me. Hey, Joe, there's a car! Yeah, wow. Well. As I said, I don't know what it do to help you there. <laughs> That's all you could think to say that was helpful. Well, I, I no, like I, I wasn't. It didn't look like you were moving, so I was like, "Are you? You know that thing's coming towards you, right?" I, I did know because I was moving. You move slowly in midair. Not that slowly. Oh, <laughs> this is tricky. <laughs> Dang it. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, bad. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Can I, there we go. Oh, you can jump on those? Yeah, you can jump on the footballs. You can't jump on the baseballs or the rocks. The that makes sense. Two things. By sense, I mean no. Why not? <clears throat> Why does it not make sense? Why can you jump on a football but not a baseball? Because it's bigger. But and the but, but and the baseballs are more uh, likely to hit you in the cross. <laughs> more more based on like bullet size, you know. So it's like it's like more like a bullet. Yet we can jump on a football that's just been kind of bullet. I'm, it's I it's moving slower, but like a human. It's it's slower versus the baseball. <sighs> that's what I'm saying. It's too the baseball is too small, man. That's all it is. That's all it is. I want you to go outside, Danny. I'm going to take a baseball, and I'm going to throw it at you. And we're going to see if you can jump on it. Uh, you're the one that's trying to argue for that to be able to be jumped on. All right, I'm going to take a football, <laughs> and I'm going to you're throw going it at to, you. No, but that's the thing. is You're not throwing it at me. They're not throwing it at me. They are kicking it towards me. They're, they're like, punching okay. it. And I'm going to punt a football straight to you. Not see, no, it's can... not straight to me. Oh, up right. in the oh, air, dear gosh. up in the air, and then as it bounces, we'll see if I can jump on it. Okay, that's what will happen. Boom! By the way, that's Chocolate Island complete. Good job, man. And so, speaking of good job, yeah, yeah, that'll uh -huh. that'll do it for us. In this episode and it, it's now it's now a race man because I'm caught up to you so well, don't you have some other levels to go nope extra off nope yeah all that's left is the final world so I'm coming for you man bring it on coming for you and I'll come for you in the next episode good transition see ya hey guys thanks for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw if you're interested in watching more videos, you can click on the left for our current playlist series or the right for the next video in the series. Thanks again.